Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a smooth zoom out transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this zoom transition is pretty fun. I've created something similar in the past, but I kind of wanted to make a dedicated video on it. So basically it looks like this. As you can see, it starts to zoom on one piece of footage and then it moves over into another piece of footage and it continues the zoom there until it stops. And it has a sort of smooth effect to really change um, stuff quickly. It works really nice when you put it to music. You put it to whatever music and then you know it's just kind of on the beat, just switches into another scene, boom, boom, switches into another scene. Really, really fun, really smooth. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we are going to just drag in our pieces of footage that we want to transition. So I just have this boat one right here. And then what I'm gonna do is just get to a point maybe right like there. I'll cut this one down. This is what I wanna transition to. So we're gonna add in the one that I wanna transition from to the top like so. And then what we wanna do is we wanna take the second one and we want to make it go slightly under right here. So let's go maybe one so one, two frames back like so. We just want a little bit of overlap and this is gonna help us um, organization wise. So the next thing we wanna do is we want to go and click on this top one. We want to go and go maybe like five or so frames back. Let's see, 12 there. So maybe about, I'm gonna go about eight backwards. And then we're going to go into our effects and we're going to drag in one of my favorite effects, the transform effect. And again, uh, this effect I use quite a lot it has basically the same features as you know, you'll know you see up here, the motion tab, but it gives us the special ability of motion blur. And that is why we're going to be using the transform effect for this. So we drag that onto our piece of footage. Now all we have to do is click on this check mark button um, and we're gonna increase the shutter angle to maybe like 90 degrees. So when you uncheck this and increase this, this is going to manipulate your shutter speed. Um, so basically the higher the number this goes, the more motion blur you're going to have. So now I'm going to take the scale and we need to make sure that the video is actually scaled in quite a bit, maybe about 140, maybe somewhere a little bit less. If if you have, um, if you're, this is the final, like, so if this is a 1080p composition and this is 1080p footage, you probably don't wanna go above 120, but the more you do, the better the effect will look. And so we're gonna go about, maybe let's go, I'm gonna go push it just a little bit to 130. I'm gonna click this button and I'm gonna go over here and bring it back down to 100. So right where the video ends, back down to 100. And you'll see that we get this slight motion blur on the edges and maybe eight frames is too long. So let me go back to where it was, the four right here. And we're gonna go ahead and we're on this keyframe. So we're gonna move one, two, hope that moves to the next keyframe. I meant we're gonna move right here, one, two, three. And we're just gonna see if we can't select that left one right there, we're gonna delete that. And we're gonna start the 130, three more ahead. So now it is a five frame transition. And you'll start to see the motion blur coming in here, like so, and if we increase this angle, we can actually kind of get this even smoother. And we, we might actually really wanna bump this up. And the reason is the more blur you have here, the smoother this is all going to feel. So now we have this sort of smooth look of this uh, shutter speed going right here. We got this blur around the edges, what we're going for. And so now what we wanna do is we want to go to the beginning of our second clip. We wanna click on it. Then we wanna go into the transform tool, the exact one that we used for the other one, drag that back onto the footage. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna start this off at maybe somewhere around 150 or 160. The reason we can go bigger on this one is because you're not going to be seeing the zoomed in version that long. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up to about 155 like so. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm gonna drop this down and bring this really far up so we get ourselves a really big uh, shutter speed or a really big motion blur. But then we're gonna move forward maybe 10 or so like so, and then we're gonna bring it back down to 100. Uh, typing it in is probably easier here. And we went pretty far, but we'll see if it still looks good, so let's see. And what we need to do is we need to make sure that we click on the animation button. So make sure you click on this button, otherwise you'll do what I just did and do a lot of work that doesn't actually save. So we're gonna do this really quickly, go to about here, bring it back down to 100. And then now we have the basis of our effect going. So you see we have this effect and it's still a little bit slow. So we might actually want to bring the transition in a little bit farther, even more from right here. Uh, we can make this bigger, but it's still not gonna show it that much. We'll just bring it in a keyframe or two to the right. So we'll go one, two. And then once we move the cursor there, we can actually drop this on here. 
we'll get a little bit more motion blur and a little bit better of a movement here. And now that's looking a lot better. And to really round things off, what we wanna do is we want to go into our left one and we wanna right click on our left keyframe on the one that you're transitioning from and you wanna go into the easy out. And then we wanna click on the one that we're transitioning into and we wanna to go to the end keyframe here and we wanna right click and we wanna go easy in. And maybe we wanna back this off just one or two more frames to the left. Again, we don't want this to be too slow, then you kind of lose that smoothness to it. And so now that we have these easy ends, it's going to make it go slow to fast and then back down to slow. And that's what really adds that smoothness to it. Now you can see that it doesn't look that much different, but it feels smoother. And that's all we're trying to go for here. We're trying to make it feel smooth. So there we have it. Now we have our effect going, zooms out, and it moves into the next one in a really neat sort of joined manner, just like so. And all you have to do is just join them on that, that same motion right there, and you get this nice little effect like so. And that is how you create a smooth uh, zoom out transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or onto our website at adobemasters.net in the forum section. I'd love to answer you guys there. You can also request a tutorial there. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related content. And until next time, guys, see ya.